During your career, you might have taken time off from your scientific work to care for your child. The ERC believes that such a career break should not have a negative impact on your eligibility to apply for our grants. In this video, I will tell you more about the generous extension rules that ERC has in place for parental leave. My name is Geneviève Almousny and I am a member of the ERC Scientific Council and the chair of the Working Group on Gender and Diversity. The ERC Scientific Council believes that diversity in science is an asset. Women and men are, can equally perform excellent research and those major life events such as having a child through either birth or adoption should not be an obstacle. Career gaps are common and necessary sometimes, especially when it comes to caring for children and maintaining a healthy work-family balance. Let's have a closer look. As you know, the ERC has different calls for proposals that correspond to the career stages of researchers. Starting grants are for early career researchers. Consolidator grants for researchers who are at mid-career stage. Advanced grants for established scholars. Each call has a different eligibility window. For the starting grants and the consolidator grants, the cutoff date is the same the day on which you defended your first PhD degree or an equivalent doctoral degree. You are eligible for the starting grants if you have received your PhD degree between two and seven years ago. For the consolidator grants, this period is between seven and 12 years. The rule for the advanced grants are a bit different. You have to be able to demonstrate significant scientific accomplishments, taking into account career breaks that can be described in the career section of part B1. If you are a female applicant and had a child before or after the successful completion of your PhD research, you can add 18 months to this eligibility window. Actually, you can do this for each child that was born. Importantly, male applicants also benefit from an extension. In this case, the extension period corresponds to the actual amount of paternity leave days taken. And of course, for parents who have adopted a child, the extension rules count as well. This is very simple. You apply for an extension of the eligibility window when you submit your ERC proposal. There is a form called Part A on which you have to provide administrative information about yourself and your career. For maternity leave, a birth certificate is sufficient. For paternity leave, you just have to make sure that you include an official document from your employer or state welfare office that proves your paternity leave and states the exact amount of actual leave taken before the call deadline. Please be assured that any document you submit for an extension will be handled with care and will not be seen by the evaluators of your proposal. I hope the extension rules for parental leaves are clearer now. If you are in doubt or if you have questions about your specific situation, please send an email to the functional mailbox that relates to the call that you are applying to. You will find the addresses on the ERC website. This is all from me now. I wish you the best of luck with your ERC applications.